The once hot pot stocks have been taking a big hit recently. Let's get out to Aditi Roy in San Francisco, who's got more on what could be behind the burnout. Hey, Aditi. Oh, man. Hi there, Melissa. I know. Look at the puns. A number of big cannabis names are coming down from highs, adding another pun there. It's been a pretty tough month for them. Companies taking a hit include Emerald Health Therapeutics. It's down 35% over the past month. Aurora Cannabis down 28%. Canopy Growth down 24% this month. And Kronos Group is down 14% for the month. It's quite a a contrast from earlier this year when many of these Canadian-based companies saw a rise in shares. It all happened in the run-up to the legalization of recreational marijuana in Canada last month. Analysts I've talked to say part of the reason for this decline this month is that shares rose so much leading up to the Canadian Senate vote, they needed to come back down to more reasonable prices. And reality has also set in. Regulators in Canada are coming out with more information. Provinces are also making decisions on which companies will be approved to sell their recreational products and which companies will not be allowed. That's deflated some of the momentum. But some analysts say the news isn't all that bad for marijuana companies. In fact, GMP Security says that sometimes a pullback is healthy because it brings investors back into the space. They predict pot stocks will light up again as we get closer to the October 17th. Date. That's a date that recreational marijuana will become legal in Canada. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.